Thank you for tuning in to Inward Beauty, where I want you to always remember that beauty starts with sin. Today we're going to make live spaghetti. Live meaning it's not cooked. Some people might call it raw. We're going to use two zucchinis. I'm going to peel them when I peel them. They're going to look like this, okay? Now, I'm absolutely not going to throw away the peels. I'm going to store them in a jar, put them in the refrigerator for an Alfredo pasta that I'm going to make that will also not be cooked. One fourth cup of uh, grape tomatoes, or you could choose to use two small tomatoes, that's fine. One fourth cup of red onions. I have another little small piece of onion that I'm going to just drop inside of. Uh, the sauce, two garlic cloves, there we got there, sun-dried tomatoes, water, I'm going to use um, coconut water today, so before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and soak my sun-dried tomatoes just a little bit. And you just want to make sure the water is covering the sun-dried tomatoes. What brand I use? I'm glad you asked. So, um, I use this for my videos and for my family. This is my own personal brand that I use. So these are not as pretty and fancy as uh, the other sun-dried tomatoes, which comes out like this, so you can see the difference. Okay. Oh, and I think I'm going to put some olives inside my spaghetti also. So I am going to put in this recipe, I'm going to put some fresh herbs. In them, they're inside my garden on my porch. I'm not going to pick them until we're almost finished, okay? So we're going to start by peeling our zucchini. If you don't have a vegetable peeler, feel free to use a knife. No big deal. Use a knife, okay? So we're going to start by Remember, I'm not going to throw these peels away, okay? Gonna use them in another pasta dish. The pasta dish will be green. It, it's really nice because it has color to it, so everything is not kind of creamy color. But we're going to remove as much green as possible if you really want this to look like spaghetti. For me, it doesn't matter. I like looking at the green. It reminds me of all the good stuff I'm doing for my body. Right. Very nice. Those inside my, my jar. Okay. Now, you can use whatever you want for your spaghetti. You can make them thin. You can make them thick. It doesn't matter. You can use a spiralizer. You can use a vegetable pillar. You could use a cheese grater. Or you could use one of my favorite toys. Oh, there is a handheld device that you kind of twist. You can use that if you want. I'm going to use my little toy that I absolutely love to use. They're going to make um, really skinny little noodles. 
So remember, you can get a, a cheese grater. Not a big deal. If you don't have any of these and you just only have a Vespa pillar, that's all you got to do. No big deal. And I love making, um, I love making, um, the Alfredo looking thick pastas. It's pretty and it tastes really good. Some people stop when they get to the seeds. I don't. I like the seeds. So, if you don't have a vegetable, um, if you don't have um, one of these devices, a cheese grater or a spiralizer, you can use this. I'm going to show you. Isn't that nice? So we're going to drop it in there. So, I do have some bigger pieces. i move it a little. Remember salt and pepper to taste. All right, so these bigger ones, I'm gonna look at how it's moving. You see that? So um, when it's not as soft, you can put salt on it and a little bit of oil to soften it. So these bigger pieces, I'm going to put to the side. Because I am going to make uh, another pasta dish. See that? Look at that. If you're not going to make another pasta dish, all you got to do is just kind of lay it. And just slice it. Making it much, much smaller. No big deal. And just drop it in there. All right. Now, I'm going to use my toy because that's what I like. I like my, my spaghetti noodles to look all little and, and small. And this does not take long at all. You don't have to wait for the water to boil. And whatever I have left over, I will put it inside my salads, okay? Or I'll make a, a raw soup, and then once I blend the soup until it's hot, then I'll uh, throw my little veggie pieces in there. Now look at this. Let me show it to you. So I used a cheese grater the very first time I uh, made spaghetti. And the very first time I made my spaghetti, I used sauce. I didn't make my sauce like I'm going to do today. So I'm going to put some uh, tomatoes in there. That's what I like. Tomatoes. I'm going to uh, chop up some tomatoes also. Because I like for my food to have as much uh, nutrient uh, as I possibly could get in there, that's why I wait till the last minute to go grab my herbs instead of just having my herbs sitting on the countertops and 
from doing chopping and preparing. There is another ingredient I forgot to mention. Those are my olives. I like olives inside my uh, my spaghetti. Isn't that pretty? Put some garlic in here. You can also grate your garlic too if you want. can add salt and pepper to taste. Some people don't eat pepper. Some people don't eat salt. The salt will soften the noodles. I use my hand. It's much better to use your hand. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to use a spoon. Yum, yum, yum. I'm going to take the rest of the tomatoes, drop them inside my Vitamix or blender. I do know that you can use both because before I had a Vitamix, I had a very trusty blender that worked just as well. And I'm going to take my sun-dried tomatoes out of this coconut water. I make my own sauce now. And you can use olive oil. I won't stop you. And I'm going to put just a drop of this water in here. Just a drop. I don't want my sauce to run. Now, I'm going to pause this video for a second and go grab my herbs out the garden. 